Coming up on today's Panther Beat, Model UN helps solve the world's problems. And we take a look at the skilled trades fair and where you're going for spring break. Your Panther Beat starts now. What's up, Fallon? I'm Mason. And I'm Ian. And this is your Panther Beat for Tuesday, March 26th. Spring break starts tomorrow. Jet, hit the halls to find out your plans. What's good, y'all, Fallon? I'm Jet Myflo. And I hit the halls to see where you guys are going on spring break. Let's go. I'm here with Loogie Boogie. Brennan, where are you going to for spring break? Uh, I'm going to Hoover, Alabama to play baseball. Sounds like a great time. Thank you. Where are you going for spring break? I'm going to Jamaica. I will be going to Louisville, Kentucky to see my family and hang out with my roommate. Uh, I'll be going to Herman, Missouri. Miami. Mexico, man. Can't come. Hey, I'm sorry. You don't, you don't want to want to come? Um, I'm actually going to London, England. I'm going with my soccer team. We're going to go tour many soccer stadiums. We're watching a few soccer games, especially uh, England versus Brazil. Oh, should be a good matchup. Yeah, very, very big matchup. All right, thank you, Robbie. Student council, council elections are coming up. If you're interested in running, you must attend a mandatory informational meeting on April 4th. Report to Smiley Room 206 at either 7.15 a.m. or 3 p.m. Visit the student council student council webpage for more additional details. Prom is May 11th at the Regency Conference Center in O'Fallon. Tickets are $55 each. Senior prom tickets go on sale April 2nd and junior tickets April 8th. Before you can purchase tickets, you must have a zero balance on your school fees. Be sure to pay any fees ASAP. Tickets go on sale after spring break. If you want to bring a guest to prom, be sure to turn in a guest request form. All guests must be approved before buying tickets. Pick up forms outside room 1025 or on the prom website. Seniors, do you need extra tickets for graduation? Gold Rush is auctioning off tickets. Email your bid to hattonj at ohs.us. Bids will be updated each Friday. The last bid will close on April 20th at 3 p.m. Last week, over 1,500 students attended the Skilled Trades Fair. Let's take a look. Last week, students were able to pack the Panther Dome and visit 56 different booths. Okay, um, and why, why should students join the Marines? So the opportunities for the Marine Corps is immense. Whether you're trying to travel the world, go to college for free, or get real world applications like fixing aircraft, all of that is conveniently right here for you. So we're presenting for geospatial and engineering. Uh, engineering and geospatial both uh, offer a lot of uh, high lucrative uh, career opportunities. There's a wide range of different paths and uh, different types of engineering and geospatial to get into. Uh, we utilize a lot of technology, both in the office with computers and software, with using, utilizing CAD, and also in the field utilizing drones and LiDAR technology to utilize that for uh, getting a lot more data safely, quickly, uh, and that people can utilize um, down the road. So I'm with a group called Leadership Council Southwestern Illinois. We're an economic development advocacy organization covering the nine counties of Southwestern Illinois. Our goal is to unite the region for growth. So today we're here in a partnership with St. Clair County. We've got these virtual reality headsets. They're loaded with simulations with uh, different career explorations. So students can get in, go through 15 or 16 different simulations, for about five minutes each. They kind of give you a quick, quick overview of different career fields that they, can, that they can pursue after high school. Then we asked students what they thought the most interesting career was. Um, I'm looking to be a sports therapist in college. I can actually be a trainer here for the school. The cosmetology field. A uh, police officer. Reporting for Panther Beat, this is Caleb Neeland and Brooks Brown. Now over to your Panther Sports. Hey O'Fallon, I'm Tessa with your Panther Sports. Our boys volleyball team plays 7th out of 24 teams in the Marist Tournament. Our boys track team saw some success over the weekend. A standout event was the boys distance medley relay. Placing sixth, notable performances included Riley Ian, Dane Crecio, who set a new personal record in the first in the mile and 400 meter events. Baseball traveled to Kentucky and picked up a win against Kenneth, Missouri, and a loss to McRacken County. The Blazer boys are four and three on the season and host a SMET tonight at 4:30. In today's sporting events, boys tennis takes on the Alton Redbirds at home. Softball and girls soccer head to Alton. Baseball takes on DeSmet at Blazer Field, and boys volleyball host Edwardsville. On Wednesday, girls track gets ready to rock Granite City's world in an away meet. On Thursday, baseball takes a road trip to Alabama to compete in the Hoover Invitational. 
Boys volleyball faces Maroons at home, girls soccer travels to Granite City, and boys lacrosse takes on Kirkwood at home. On Friday, boys track runs at home against Triad, softball takes on Calhoun at home, boys tennis faces Edwardsville, and girls track races in the Belleville West Invitational. And on Saturday, baseball continues the Hoover Invitational playing Spain Park while boys tennis faces Edwardsville again. Good luck to all our sports teams. Now over to your Panther birthdays. Hi, O'Fallon. I'm Lucy with the birthdays. Birthdays yesterday, March 25th, were Robert Green, Kennedy Griffin, William Mullinex, and Isaiah Wilkins. And a special happy birthday to Mr. Edwards, Mr. John, and Mrs. Range. Birthdays for today, March 26th, are Jordan Jackson, Grace Knapp, Elizabeth Coaster, Luke Musser, Lily Prendable, Scott Stelsley, Caitlin Tice, and Raphael Turner. Birthdays for today, Wednesday, March 27th, are Connor Ziaba, Wael Hamid, Kalia Randall, and Andre Stanley, and a special happy birthday to Mrs. Tedesco. Birthdays on Thursday, March 28th are DeAndre Anthony, Aaliyah Armour Robinson, Phoenix Cole, Wyatt Field, Aaron Fowler, Ella Hubler Marty, Kevin Jackson, Devin McKinney, Lorelai Mahechko, Michael Tame, and Hayden Worth, and a special happy birthday to Mrs. Paulette and Mrs. Shearman. Birthdays on Friday are Jesse Dashney, Roby Lewis, Veron DeLong, Theodore Pipus, Connor Pyredek, Amari Rousey, and Patricia Stannis. Birthdays on Saturday, March 30th, are Agurney Barlow, Molly Basket, Brooks Brown, Myla Clay, Isaac Coogan, Miranda Cornejo, Cameron Hewitt, Tyler Mahalik, Braden Robertson, and Madeline Yost. And a special happy birthday to Mr. Mr. Volkerding and Mr. Jones. Birthdays on Sunday are Riley Brannon, Braden Kloppel, Mia Lee, Dakota Letty, Jenna Mahmoud, Taylor Medina, and Olivia Ponsaroli. That's all for me. Let's pass it back to the news desk. And now for your club news. Model UN traveled to McKendry for the spring conference. Here's Rowan with the story. Last week, the OTHS Model UN team visited a conference at McKendry where they participated in simulated sessions with other United Nations committees. OTHS took home an award for Superior Delegation for Japan, and many students won individual committee awards. Today, I spoke with some of those winners. This was the McKendry Model United Nations Invitational. So this was a conference where various different schools from our area, such as Triad, Mascuda, or Altov, come, and we form into different committees, such as Third SEH, uh, First Disarmament, General Assembly, things like that, and we discuss foreign issues, write resolutions, amend them, and just have really good discussions. So in Model UN, I am a lead delegate of the Third Social Cultural Humanitarian Committee, or Third SCH. In this position, I have to edit all the resolutions from my committee and also serve as a leader in committee discussions through passing resolutions, making amendments, and just leading overall discussions. The award I won for this session was Most Outstanding Delegate of the 3rd SEH Committee. This was largely decided on by my speaking skills shown and then also my ability to represent my overall delegation of Japan. Delegate award goes to Maddie Fields. Yeah! Um, so the award I won was um, an Outstanding Position Paper Award and it's just an award for writing a paper basically. And the paper is about um, a topic in whatever committee you're in in Model UN. And for me, I was in the World Health Organization, so mine was on the long-term effects of conflict-induced trauma. And then they basically give out awards for that and you can get an honorable mention, superior, or outstanding, and then outstanding is the highest award. Reporting for Panther Beat, this is Rowan Shockey. NHS meets Wednesday, April 3rd, after school in the NPR. OTHS Camera Club is having a silent auction for two sets of two seats to graduation. You may bid on both pairs. The silent auction ends April 24th. To place a bid, email brooksb at OTHS.us. Title the message Graduation Seats Bid and put your name and contact info and bid amount in the message body. First Priority Club meets at Smiley in room 1016 today at 3 p.m. Bring your thirst for the for the word. Contact Mr. Sewell with any questions. Culture Mix is looking for a representative from OTHS to join Racial Harmony. If you enjoy planning community events to promote Racial Harmony, here's your chance to get involved and earn service hours. Attend the meeting next Tuesday, March 26th, and contact Ms. Maggie in room 308.
Girls Cross Country is auctioning off four reserve seats to graduation. To place bids, email Coach James at jamesn at OTHS.us and title the message Graduation Seats Bid. The starting bid is $75. Bidding closes at 3 p.m. April 5th. That's it for today, O'Fallon. Enjoy your spring break. For up-to-date news, videos, and more, head over to our Parent to Beat YouTube channel.